Example says parametrize the helix given to you by RT equals to the first component is cosine, the second component is sine, and the last component is T with respect to what? With respect to the arc length measured from the initial point 100 zero, zero, in the direction of increasing T. First of all, recall that ds dt or the rate of change of s with respect to t is nothing but the norm of the derivative of r. So let us compute this guy. They have the square root of taking the derivative of r, r prime. Let's just quickly write this down here. Negative sine t, cosine t, and 1. This is going to be sine squared. plus cosine squared plus one squared and ds dt is nothing but the square root of one plus one or square root of two. Note that s of t is equal to the integral zero to t of the magnitude of our prime of u d u. Okay, now we just need to compute this integral. S of t becomes integral 0 to t. We already have this value, which is square root of 2 d u. You get square root of 2 integral 0 to t d u, which is equal to square root of 2 times t. Very good. So from this relation, t is equal to s or s of t divided by t square root of t. Very good. So wherever you see t or ts, you just substitute that and you get r of t which is now written as R of T of S, it is equal to the cosine. You had cosine of T. T is now S over square root of T. So you get S of T or just S divided by square root of 2. And then you have sine of T, which is sine of S over square root of 2, and your t is nothing but s over square root of 2. So we are introducing a new variable. It is a parametrization for your helix.